Hey everyone, today we're going to be checking out Mufti Mercury has to Andrew Tate convert into Islam. Wow. Guys, I don't really know what to expect. I don't really know if it's going to be a positive or a negative reply, but I know he's, he is wise. Like, to be honest, I can say this is actually one of the wisest man I've listened to. Him Andrew Tate. Hmm? Jordan Peterson. Hmm? Let's get back into this. I wouldn't ever want to punch a person who's within the, the you know, doing some good work, actually. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I might bring up a very controversial figure, but we've just had Andrew Tate accept Islam, someone who is the most Googled person on earth. And it's very interesting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would use such a person to accept Islam, someone who has a very strong influence on disenfranchised young men, young males who speaks to them, and calls them young kings and has a very profound impact on them. It's very interesting that Allah would use someone like him and we ask Allah to protect him and uh, to actually make this uh, conversion sincere. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I, I, I'll i be honest with you as much as I, uh, it might sound very strange, but I didn't really know who Andrew Tate was. Obviously, I, I, I'm busy in Top my field and, and, and so on. Yeah, sorry. But uh, th then when, when, when the hype came, I obviously found out and I obviously, then I, I checked him out and I was very happy at the Shahada, obviously, who wouldn't be? I mean, we're, we're Muslimin and we're all excited. And I wish for everyone to be Muslim. Everyone I mean, yeah, exactly. Being. And and mashallah, he, he seems like a very sincere brother and he says what he feels. That's That means the, 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 the hypocrisy factor doesn't seem to be there at all. In fact, it, it probably isn't because he says it as he, he thinks. As he deems. Uh, yeah, that's how it comes across, alhamdulillah. So it's a good thing. And what I believe Islam would do for a brother like that is amazing it would streamline his ideas and actually uh, you know between misogynism and feminism those are the terminologies that people use today uh, we have a beautiful islam the prophet sallallahu approach because i know i faced some of my friends some scholars as well and some uh, regular muslims who sometimes have told me certain things no sheikh you're too soft and no sheikh you're this and that and i tell you it's not that Islam is a balance. There are times when the Prophet ﷺ was extremely lenient and very forgiving. There were times when he spoiled his family members. You know, th there is a balance. It, it's happened to me where people say, oh, you said this and you said that, but we're calling towards a balance. A man needs to know, and a woman, when to be lenient, when to be a little bit harder, when to be a bit harsh, when to uh, forgive, when to hold things, and so on. So it's it's a beautiful balance. So I believe that's what Islam would do to anyone who's genuine in learning. It would create a balance. It's not all about being, you know, so I'm 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 the king, I'm the boss, and that's me. I mean, no one would like you in that case because why? It's not the case. Yeah, it would regulate you, know. you towards that wasaf. You need the middle path. You are you are a king, but if only you have a queen, mm, there it goes. So. You know. Okay, this was beautiful guys like i love the way he i feel to be honest every muslim wants everyone to be muslims and it's a part that they are willing to take and i can say everyone love when people are following the parts they see and especially when they see light in it they just want everyone to go through that light with them and it's an amazing thing guys Mufti Meg is someone that I know that I have checked him out a lot and I've seen how open he is. I love when he said that about Andrew Tate, that he says what he feels like. Andrew Tate is that kind of person, guys. I love when he he comes up and says exactly what he feels like. He does not care if your feeling is being hurt by his saying it. He just wants to say what he feels. <laughs> Most times, I can say what he feels being the truth because he won't just say something out of the blue like he must have made his research before he would say it but i love the fact he just comes out and say he's feeling most of the times guys and it's beautiful you see someone not giving a f it's an amazing thing guy like have you seen the movie wednesday like she does not give <clears throat> guys that's it to like subscribe to my channel i'll see you this time guys this